of all of the emails that I get, the ones that are the most frantic, tell me, talk to me about how in the world do you delete an object without hitting reset or off on or back or whatever. I'm going to show you how. It, it is not intuitive at all. It, it, in my opinion, it is the most clumsy thing that uh, we do using this console. Let me pick a shape. I'll hit this enter twice. Now I've got a shape. I'm going to hit another shape, whether by purpose or accident, and now we have two shapes up there. The directions tell us that if we set zero on multi-cut, we're going to be able to delete that square. The only problem is we can't get zero to come on the multi-cut. So how do you delete? You can't get the zero. Well, the trick is you have to leave this shape. You do that by hitting enter again. This cursor moves over. This blinks to tell you you can pick a different shape. But instead of picking a different shape, hit this left arrow. Come back to your original shape. Hit enter. And now, magically, you can hit the down arrow and you'll get a zero. And when you hit this, that will go away. Hit it again. You're on your first shape. So as you can see, it's not intuitive. You have to leave the shape by hitting enter, then back back up to the shape by hitting the left arrow. Now you can go all the way up to the first shape at that point. And when you come on to the object you want to delete, you just you hit enter and then you can go to zero. Completely counterintuitive. Why you can't go to zero in the multi-cut at any time it baffles me. But we didn't design it. We just have to use it. I hope this is helpful to you.